What's up guys, it's Nick bringing you what will hopefully be a short tutorial on how to set up and install the Legend of Notch Reincarnation mod pack. Um, first thing to note is that it does require your Minecraft to be set back to 1.2.5. You don't have to worry about doing anything manually, it updates it, or rather backdates it automatically. Um, but what you do need to take special note of is if you do have things stored in your Minecraft jar, like a whole bunch of crazy mods, and you want to save that, I'd recommend just making a copy of your .minecraft folder um, and making a new one right here with something that you'll recognize like normal minecraft or something like that. Um, also if, if you have a whole bunch of other stuff you know that you don't want to mess with possible conflictions uh, what I did I just del I just made a I just renamed my minecraft folder and just regenerated a brand new one uh, just by launching minecraft again and logging in. Um, so you can do it either way just as long as you have a jar that you can mess with. So then you're going to need to go into your bin folder where your Minecraft jar is. Um, also, if you don't yet have a program like WinRAR or WinZip, you're going to need to download one of those. I'll put a link in the description. Um, I recommend WinRAR. It's just a little easier to deal with. Um, so then you're going to need to open that with WinRAR. And that brings up, this is your Minecraft jar where everything client-side is related. Um, then you're going to download. First thing you're going to do is download the main download from the minecraftforums.net post. Uh, you can also download the beta at the same time. You're going to need both of them. Um, just make sure that you do things in a specific order, installing the main download first and then the beta. And I'll show you how to do that right now. So you're going to download both of these. And also for other people complaining about AdFly links, get a life. Come on, these guys are, you know, making this awesome mod for you. And they're updating it extremely regularly. You can see all these awesome beta updates and change logs with great new features and fixes. So give them a little support, you know, all you have to do is wait a couple seconds. So you download both of those and I already have them downloaded right here. I have the 1.0.4 beta, which is right here. That's the main download. And then I also have the latest patch right here. So the first thing you're going to do is open up what's labeled as the main download, also in WinRAR. Um, first thing you want to do, open up your client. See this opens up two other RAR folders. All right. What you're going to do is you're going to go into this one, the client RAR, and you're just going to copy everything and drag it on over. Make sure you drag it down here and not into a f specific folder because you want it to go into that top level folder. Um, just hit OK, yes, add and replace. You can close that. Um, now you can go ahead and open up your beta. And this is, again, if you want to do this all at the same time. You don't have to, but I recommend it. Open up the beta. <laughs> patch 1.1.5 is what it says. It's really 1.1.6. 1. 1. Uh, copy all that over. Same thing. Um, and this is very important. You need to delete your meta int folder. If you do not delete that, it will not work. Um, sometimes you'll get a black screen. Uh, oftentimes you'll you'll start up your Minecraft and go to log in and it'll get, um, it'll get stuck on the done loading bar and it'll get about three quarters of the way and it'll just stop. So make sure to delete that. Alright, now we should be ready to start up our client. So we're going to go ahead and start Minecraft. Um, we're not done yet, but I at least want to show you guys the login screen. So let's go ahead and do that. And this is what it's going to look like right here. Um, now you would hit single player. Obviously we don't have any worlds. You don't want to log into some random world. And you don't want to create a world either. In fact, it looks like they block you from it right here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and minimize that. We're going to close all this stuff, except for this one right here. Because see this other folder right here? World map. This is very important because the world map is all pre-generated and pre-built. So we're going to back up a little bit, back into our Minecraft folder, and go to our saves folder. This is where, if you, you know, you probably know or you can probably see in your Minecraft folder, you know, if you've ever played any single player games, you're going to have all of them right here labeled by name. So all we're going to do is we're going to drag that folder over into the saves folder. And then we're going to go ahead and close that. And now that's saved as one of our single player games. So we can open that back up, hit single player, and there it is. We're going to go ahead and log in. And this, don't worry about it, it looks weird. All it's just doing is it's configuring the world. It's placing all the NPCs, all the quest NPCs, guards and the like. And it's also placing all the ores in the game that you'll find throughout the world. So you just wait for this to load up and go through its go through its thing and uh, and finish up and this will take you to the first cutscene. It also sounds like you're getting hurt. You'll you'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Um, 
a lot of t uh, I think there's an NPC in the main city too that uh, sounds like he's stuck in a wall. I think he is stuck in a wall. Um, don't worry about it. Just pass on by it and try to ignore it. A lot of people get that bug. It's not really a big deal. But we're gonna go ahead and hope this finishes loading soon. Also, since it is a, a mod pack and it you know adds a lot of cool features into the game, Minecraft is a very RAM intensive program. So um, if you have if you have enough RAM to spare, I'd recommend running it with more. I run mine with four, but also I have 16 gigs, so I you know I've got room to spare. But even if you can get have room to spare, maybe two. Um, I'll probably upload another video soon showing you how to do that. It's not really it's not very complicated. There's tons of videos on YouTube about it. So we're in our first cutscene here. These really easy. Just you know pass through the cutscenes. You just hit enter to go through them. Really cool setup here. So anyways, now we're in the game. I'm just gonna skip through the tutorial because I already know how to do this. Um, the next really important thing, and they do mention it. I saw in the tutorial there. You do need to change your GUI scale because as you can see, even if I even if I make this full screen. Look how gigantic that map is. That's disgusting. <laughs> so go to options, go to your video settings, and you're going to change your GUI scale right here. They recommend small on the post, I believe, and that will work too. I personally hate small, and I've had no problems with normal. Um, supposedly there are some bugs that can be encountered if you use normal, but I have yet to encounter those. So it's just kind of play at your own risk. Um, and that's it guys now you're you're in the mod and you see we've got our first quest up there at the top go to your new house and talk to Salia I'm not gonna go through gameplay right now because I'll do that in other videos but that's pretty much it just make sure to remember those things delete your meta imp folder make sure you have a RAR program like uh, WinRAR or WinZip and that's it guys so enjoy playing this awesome mod and go ahead and like the video if this has helped you out, and subscribe if you want to see more stuff. I'll be playing plenty of Legend of Notch as well as some other games. So, enjoy. I'll see you guys later.